This week on the Agent Academy podcast, we're going to be talking about the Didact Field Challenge, Vintage Akira, and as well as four new avatars and some departing vanguards. So stay tuned. This is the Agent Academy. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 74, recorded on February 6th, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Dewey J. And I'm Agent Vane. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Well, maybe we got a few things to talk about. So we're going to talk about them. And it's all Ingress stuff, so that's good. Uh, speaking of Ingress, uh, this week I've been just doing my daily... I don't want to say grind because I have fun doing it, so it's not really a grind, but my morning Ingress. So I just have this route that I drive to work, and I farm keys from one portal, and that's my Starburst portal, which I just send stuff into and... Uh, and, and I can't out of because it's max links right now out on my way in and then on my way back. But I'm trying to think of how to maximize AP on this morning drive because it's like, a, you know, it ends up being an extra 45 minutes to an hour with traffic. And it's just, you know, building up portals, adding shields or turrets, whatever crap I have laying around in my inventory. And then trying to make some fields, but like, do you think I should be letting it decay completely and rebuilding fully, trying to figure out like max fields kind of thing? Or yeah. there we go. We yeah, got a an AP generator. Agent Red Solo Cup in the house with a yeet. Yeah, yeah, yeet. Like it's a dab. No. <laughs> I wish my kids were in here just so I could see their eye roll. Sorry. Just don't start flossing, please. I, I can't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see, I got some uh, like dental toothpicks. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> that the, no, that's just the, that's just the old, you know. Okay, boomer flossing. <laughs> oh no, Google! I heard Google. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Oh, thank you for the help. Now, Goody Guy, you did do something this weekend, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't I see a big green I forget about that? blob <laughs> south of me? Yeah, we, we did. I'm glad that it went away quick, but what was that? Uh, that was a, uh, a field. Okay. Fields. Ooh, really? It was, it was, was it uh, blue or was it green? 40 something layers. I think it was a little over 100 million total, but I, I didn't throw any. I was just helping out and, you know, clearing blockers and, and then hanging out with some agents who were throwing nearby. Yeah. So, you know, you know, sometimes that's more fun, the, the clearing and the stuff, because you're, you're, you know, in the middle of the woods at midnight waiting for the call. Yeah. And then, you know, you're all excited and then you make the call and it's like, okay, did it work? Is it all worth it? Yeah. And this, this was a... Was, I mean, it was a fun one. It was, uh, what was the name of it? It was Accidental Magician. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Accidentally a triangle. It's just like it was there yeah. like that. <laughs> so it was fun. I haven't really been out fielding in a while. So getting out and, and just like big fields. Uh, so so I was happy to do that. And it was, you know, it was a, it was a three hour, three hour ish drive from here, there and then back. So it was it was a full day, and I think, like we kept talking about, like when are we under the show, and I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to go. Can't do it Sunday because I know Dewey J will send out the radars. I tried to make this like a circle of trust between us, where we could go, hey, yeah. we're doing a field this weekend, <laughs> <Ain't gonna happen. laughs> but <laughs> can't trust him. 
<laughs> the, you know, there'd be a blocker of blue just right through down to Florida. <laughs> Have you not seen the OPSEC posters, Goonie? It, it specifically says loose links. Or, yeah. Loose links. links. Loose lips sink links. Triangles or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't do it. But I feel like we're compadres that we should have like a, you know, what's heard on the show stays I, I on would the give show. You, I would give you five, maybe ten minutes before I could would do anything because <laughs> it take me that long to get to a good portal. So it makes it hard when you're when you're trying to like plan yeah, a show, is. and it's like, hmm, Dewey J says yeah. he's doing this what, or what that. What are you gonna do this weekend? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Let's nothing. look at the community theater. Is uh, <laughs> is there really a play going on this night? <laughs> <laughs> so. The, but it looked it looked good. I will say that it looked pretty impressive. Yeah, they did a great job. Oh, like, uh, you know, it, it's it's I the last big field I did, I was lucky enough to get to throw like four or five uh, closing fields that were like twelve million a piece. So, like, yeah. I'm up to like almost eighty nine million. So I was like, let's like I don't need to throw right now. I wouldn't yeah. mind every once in a while they if you know it's needed, but. Now, does this, someone get an Onyx? This is the first op you've been on with Prime, or you've been on one before? Uh, I've been on one before, but that's because okay. I started using Prime like Early. explicitly. Yeah, so I I, I never had any issues uh, with the fielding, the big layers like that so much. But I can't remember if I've thrown big layers with. Prime. Yeah, because I, I kind of heard some stuff that they're saying when it gets when it gets tight and you're throwing links and stuff like that that it used to be having some issues, and I don't I don't know if it is anymore or not. I mean, it seems to be rock solid for me. Yeah, I the only issues I've had lately is it's kind of a weird one. My inventory uh, doesn't represent the total correctly, so I'll log in and it's like all red because it it doesn't. Um, factor in the keys in, or it does factor in the keys in the uh, key capsules so it's way over the limit I can still do everything right hack and whatever so I don't really um, you know it's, it's not a bother until you do get to that cap and you don't yeah. kind of realize it because you've been playing where it looks like it's over the cap I've not seen that are you playing on a fruity phone I no I uh, what I'm using note 10 Okay. Which has been rock solid. Like, I can actually do Harry Potter and Ingress. And when I was doing a little bit of Pokemon, like, I could have them all three open going back and forth, and it wouldn't shut down hmm. uh, where the Pixel would. Like, I couldn't keep Zello open with Ingress on the Pixel. It would just, everything would have to be restarted. And it, it's all RAM. If you're having those issues, check your phone. I bet you don't have much RAM. It's oh, probably RAM. an old phone. I mean, yeah, no, my, my, I have an essential phone. So like, you know, it was never really the top of the line anyway. <laughs> I can run prime though. And it works. I, I don't have any like slowdown or any, anything like that. I can still yeah. compete. So for the moment, I, have, I'm, I haven't I'm heard of a lot of, a lot of people complaining about that because that was what kind of one of our concerns when they were talking about, you know, updating the system. It's like, Oh, how many people on the low end of the phone, you know, with older phones and older phones are going to get knocked out. And I haven't heard much of that. So I, I do actually know just recently, uh, the latest version there, there were some reports of individuals getting knocked out for, you know, devices no longer compatible. So it is something that, you know, I think is constantly changing, but, um, I believe the team, has said publicly in various places that they're always going to be looking at ways that they can, you know, include as many devices as possible. That yeah. way it's not just something where to experience ingress, you need to have a, you know, thousand dollar phone shouldn't be, shouldn't be the case. Yeah. Right. But it's, you know, it's, it's like iPhone fives or four. I mean, like you can't even update iOS on them and stuff. So it's, it's like even the OS of phones themselves, go out of date so it's a pretty good indicator that maybe it's time to time to do something to, yeah. to grab a new one and it's it's not like if you have that real high-end phone and you have the phone that's that works well that you're going to get much of an advantage you know it's not like in other gaming when you have that gaming machine and somebody else has the lag master 5000 that you know 
there's going to be a difference. Yeah, it's like I wonder if they can move to like Stadia is a thing that Google has now for gaming in the cloud. So you can game on a TV, you know, or a crappy laptop. As long as you can watch YouTube, basically, you can play the modern day full FPS, you know, games without much problem. So I wonder if there's some way to do that on phones. Like, so it's just their computers are doing all the processing and you're just basically watching a YouTube video, you know, yeah. and it's so just it's sending the input. Virtual computing. Yeah. Now, see, I thought Niantic was going the Ingress anime route and just kind of giving us a little bit of, like, predictive programming that the, the goggles are coming. So we're going to be able to, you know, like those, those security guards that just are, like, have the scanner on as a pair of goggles, and they're like, wow, I've got, like, 20,000 XMPs. I'm going to destroy this portal. Yeah. yeah, or even better, like, I believe Apple and it may be yeah. Google are, are working on contacts. Like, they're not even glasses. They're actually contacts. Straight. Just shut Straight. up and take my money. Right? Like, <laughs> the only problem is you just won't know who's stupid anymore because they'll all just be looking at their glasses. They'll just be zoned out. And they'll be able to answer any question, and you'll be like, mm, you're wearing the contacts, aren't you? I remember when we used to just sit around and smoke weed, and it did not end like this. Uh, I don't know where that uh, went, but... Is that why you got the Mountain Dew shirt on tonight? Like, where are the Doritos? Do the what moo. Else? Do the moo, baby. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What? I didn't even see the moo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I like it. I just Except saw the logo. Another net, I like it. <laughs> that's that's how much of a consumer they've made me into. Right. You, just saw the, you can't see me on like the shape and just was like Mountain Dew. Yeah. Hopefully they won't see the shirt and then sue us. Oh no! Because <laughs> it is on the website. If you cover it up, cover it up. Put some tape on it. Like you're at school. Hold on, I got I got the purple duct tape right here. I got the prime duct tape. We're good. Or, or maybe it's a sponsor a sponsorship it's opportunity. A sponsor. yeah. huh? I'm sure. Pepsi? <laughs> Isn't that Pepsi? Mountain Dew's Pepsi? It's close. It's close. Mellow Yellow's Coke. Anyway, so anyway. <laughs> that's that was that was kind of my week. Uh, I'm glad you remembered that. I think I was kind of brain dead. From oh, yeah. I remember story. all those things. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to shoot shoot a triangle up over you one day. I'm waiting and, for it. And speaking of, what else have you been doing this week, Agent Dewey J from The Resistance? Uh, I've been doing a few things. I've put some small fields out in our cell, doing a little what I call mic mixed martial arts, uh, mixing geocaching with uh, ingress. Found this little guy. Right here, found him. Look, is that a real frog? That's <laughs> no. He was inside a geocache. No, I, I, I'm a, I tried to do a Nancy Pelosi and, and rip him in half, but I, he just he just doesn't do that. So we'll get rid of him. So uh, geocaching these like used to, you needed like a GPS device. Can you just do it all on your phone now? Yeah, yeah, it's all on your phone. It's been that way for like ten years now. So catch up. <laughs> I've been playing Ingress. It's modern. It's modern. Uh, and there's a couple of things in their design that I would like to kind of see come towards um, what's in Ingress, but uh, we can talk about that some other time. So yeah, I'm just Bugs watching those green fields go up south of my south of me uh, working. Uh, I did. I think I might have been scouted by our Christmas episode. Scouted. I, yeah, I had somebody come Our to me and said, you know, like, we've got okay. this barbershop yeah. quartet choir, and we want you to come sing with us. I'm like, well, sure, I'll give it a try. So Tuesday night, I'm singing barbershop. Look for a like field. Three of our guys, and it, it's, it, was, it, was, it was a neat experience. Look for a blue field coming really with a laughing hand. And me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so no, it was, it was kind of neat. So who knows? Maybe I'll... I'll do the barbershop quartet version of Ingress. You'll have to, and you'll have to like record some for us. We can play it on the show. Yep. I'll be the guy in the back. So they, they, they were smart. They put me in the back. That's yeah. That's how it but, goes. Uh, other than that, just, uh, just keeping on that hacking streak. And, and uh, my hacking streak is to about totally by accident, but it's working out. Um, I screwed up New Year's day. And so my first day on my hacking streak was New Year's day. So oh. I think I'm on day 37 now. So let's see, what am I at? See if I can get past my. What is it? I think I'm up. It was up to 
157 or something. Oh, you can beat that at least. I should be able to. Well, you would think. So Zero days. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, Oops, forgot yesterday. As soon as I hit, so so Sojourner actually, like I'll try not to go off on a horrible tangent here with this, but uh, how I ended up losing my original like day one Sojourner streak was that on day 777 of the original run, I decided I was going to sleep in for an extra 30 minutes, got up, went to make some coffee, pull out my scanner, and uh, at that point, it was just like instinctively, every time I'd open the scanner, go to the now tab, make sure that the number is still there. Yeah. Um, thought I had hacked 12 hours prior, uh, skipped it, probably, saw that it was at zero, immediately was like, freedom, I'm free! Because <laughs> uh, Sojourner was interesting. I think I went through the flu uh, at least once, two blizzards, um, and a couple of colds all in that span of 777 days. So, I I will admit I went out Saturday in my daughter's shoes and a pair of shorts and across the alley to the portal that's a block away. So thank God it was late enough nobody was watching because there's this crazy man in <laughs> lady shoes and a pair of shorts, and 35 degrees. And I'm like, yeah. I've done worse just to take up the trash. Like, <laughs> I, I think I, I we streamed once and I was wearing the, the Fox Kigu. Like, I just, I was like, I'm in the house. I want to take out the trash, but I don't, like, clothing is so inconvenient. So, <laughs> just, like, throw on some pajamas and just run outside. I'm like, if someone sees me, I'll just run really fast. Right. That'll, that'll solve the problem. Yeah. It'll give them something to talk about for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and I think during my sojourner battle, that's when I had my gallbladder surgery. So I had to have my wife take me one day. How is that? And then the uh, the next day, like she had gone to work or taken the kid. Anyway, I was like, I can't miss this. So I walked the the mile and a half to the closest portal and back home. Two days oh, after God. my surgery, <laughs> my wife was like, "You're crazy. You're crazy. Go back home." <sighs> Whatever. So, Vane, how'd your week go? Oh goodness, this. This has been a very busy, very busy week, both in and outside of Ingress. And I think I said that last time, but work has definitely been ramping up a lot. So I've been trying to get in as much Ingress in the void that isn't work that consults, you know, or constitutes the rest of my my waking hours. So kind of started out, um, had first Saturday last weekend, went to Frederick, Maryland here in the U.S., and did a little bit of dead drop mixed with a little bit of live drop question mark uh so essentially what i was doing there i decided i want to give away one of those red solo cup coins i've got another one here somewhere it's in the pile of things off screen uh, i did not prep one to show but gave that away with a, a couple of bio cards and the way that i did the dead drop was had a, a couple of location clues that i printed out put in baggies taped them to, you know, benches and different things. Totally not creepy or, you know, look suspicious <laughs> or anything of that nature. And then I went and I hid in a coffee shop and told agents, here's about where you can find some of these location clues, cut them loose, and uh, nobody found me. <laughs> oh, wow. So it was purely searching, like there are no clues or anything, just... So, so I should actually backtrack. The, the way that I started out with the dead drop was that I had made a plan for how I was going to sneak to the coffee shop that I was going to hide at. So I threw a teaser out on my uh, Vanguard channel, broadcast channel on Telegram, just saying at exactly 1331, go to this bar and restaurant and like stand outside, just like wait outside. This is a staging location and await further instruction. So as soon as 1331 rolls around, I had a post lined up to just automatically go out into the feed to say, look for a target beacon in your scanner, and that's where you'll find the first clue. And cool. as soon as I saw that post go through and go out to the public, I deployed the beacon and I just started running to where I needed to hide. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, awesome. That's not sketchy or anything. No, no, not at all. And. Agents did find the, the first set of uh, location clues, but I guess the timing was just poor. 
uh, everybody would as they were finishing up with first Saturday, just were like, nah, we want to get that AP. Like, get out of here. Who wants swag? So, so, so next time, failed. you think planning it like after the FS, like, you know, it starts when the FS ends? Yeah, I, I think I might go that route or maybe a little bit before, mm-hmm. a little bit after. Um, just that way I'm not overlapping. Like this was the first one that I did where uh, like they've all been overlapping when I've done dead drops, but this was the first one where it just seemed like there was so much else going on that either people noticed late and I didn't want to run it over past like the, the first Saturday checkout or the social. So I decided like, I'll put a pause on this. And that's actually when I decided to do an old school XM bake sale. So that was another thing that I had on my, calendar here for the week but an old school x and bake sale for those of you that aren't privy is when you pretty much have like a social gathering with a bunch of agents and generally someone that's got the big swag bag comes in and just says all right we're going to open up our scanners and whoever has the highest uh connector stat or deployer like you get some sort of a prize and they make it fun by saying like the weekly stat, whoever's got the highest in the week or the highest in the month all time. And that was something that Niantic used to do at a lot of old school socials and some of the old November Lima meetups. So I had a lot of fun with that. It sounds like the, my old friends that I used to hang out with need to uh, come to one of these, uh, bake sales and get the highest. <laughs> they can definitely get the highest. Get all the swag. Well, there, I so. See, yeah. generally Niantic would always go to these things and they would do like the highest stat all the time. And it was always like you would see people at the socials that you're like, oh, great. They're getting everything. And then those people <laughs> would always be like, oh, man, here I go. I'm getting all them bio cards again. So I would like to, to mix it up. And a couple of times, I think um, I had a bunch of anchor swag that I had to give away during the original Darsana Hartford, Connecticut anomaly. And I ended up giving away like a battery to somebody that had the most link amps in their inventory. And this was immediately post anomaly. So like they weren't supposed to have the link amps in their inventory, (laughs) but I think someone ended up having like 40 link amps and they want a battery. So (laughs) you're like, I guess you win. Uh, And then uh, you did some go rocking or yeah, a little bit. Over the weekend, I I decided I've been doing a little bit of portal recon. So I've been hitting up some trails in my uh, local AO, trying to figure out where I can submit some portals for some devious fielding. So did a little bit of exploration on a trail I hadn't touched before, um, submitted a couple of things. So let's see how Wayfair shakes out. And I think the last thing I've got on here, and it might be a little bit too early for this, but if anyone is planning on going to the uh, Perpetua Hexathlon that is in Miami, Florida, be on the lookout because I'm planning on attending and working out the details now. And I'd like to do some sort of a dead drop there. So be on the lookout. And you'll be, you're driving down the, to that one? Yes. Yeah. So I'm actually trying to break the trip up between two days. Uh, that way it's not the full like 17 18 hour drive that it would yeah. be <laughs> are, does that go through atlanta or do y'all bypass it towards the east uh i i think bypass i, I can't remember i've only done that drive once for orlando during the old obsidian series and that was like at a certain point the brain fog is just like we're still on the road i don't know where we're going but we're just just go south <laughs> and you'll hit florida it's just good. Going south, you hit water. How far is Miami from Orlando? I think it's a good couple of hours distance. Okay. Extra, like because that's all I was thinking day. is is like our airport here is like normally we drive to like Nashville because the tickets are just outrageous here, but they got a new, uh, I believe, Frontier here, so they have like twenty nine dollar tickets to Orlando. Like all the time, and I'm like, mm, I could fly there and drive down. That might be doable. Just three and a half hours. Two hundred yeah. and thirty-six miles. Maybe just find an agent coming from Orlando. Be like, hey, can you fly into Fort Lauderdale? 
I th- they have like a set like from Huntsville to Orlando thing. Oh, okay. So I I haven't heard of anywhere else in Florida that that they fly. Uh, so. I so what I'm hearing is that I need to it. I need to like rescue you from an airport and then return you safely to the airport. I, <laughs> I, I don't think I would I would put that on you. That's a lot to like. <laughs> The throw on got, someone who's already driving 40 billion hours. We got an Airbnb. We got an Airbnb. So like, <laughs> more the merrier. All set up. Kick, kick Smurf butt at the hexathlon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so confident I'm not even going to go. Oh. I'm still going to get number one. So just looks like, like somehow remotely. Just, that's right. That's a bet. And with all the beards here, including the one in the, the chat, th- that's... You know, there's the bets that could be had about shaving, and I'm used to being outnumbered. That's okay. <laughs> uh Oh, we lost Vane. He's like not shaving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, dude. I, I was I was just spitballing. <laughs> coin check, Andrew. If you don't DM me, I've got mine. Coin upstairs. You're in trouble. <laughs> I gotta bring my my swag still in the car from the trip. That's two coin checks. This one's not for me, though. Oh, oh no. Are we are we doing more coin checks? Do I need to reach nope. into the No, nope, nope. We're good. We're good. You sure? We got to talk about uh, fields. <coughs> Just count. Oh, there you go. It's got a red solo cup. On a string. Well, so in news this week, we have a few items. The first one here is the Diadact field challenge and we'll link to the story on the agent academy podcast website where we have posted the deets that we know so far which is basically an image and a more detail soon so really you don't need to go there and read that there it is except for the date the dates are there too i believe starts uh, february 14th and goes for how long who's got that off the tip of their not i no pressure. I want to say 24th. Oh, geez. Not going to immediately okay. go like, check. His- I've got the link here. So we'll see. It's a, a field challenge of some sort, and it will be from... <laughs> well, I lied. Yeah, it's not in the story. What moron posted Wait, this? I'm loading it right now. Until the 24th. Woo! <laughs> Pull that one right out. I remember thinking ten days. So that'll I I so starting on Valentine's Day, that's a that's a kicker for a lot of people. But I maybe mean, you'll be out. It's not as bad as Global Shards over Valentine's Day. Like the amount of favors that I had to pull out for that one. To drive to like, hey, I'm just gonna drive to New York City real quick. <laughs> And come back because we need to get target portal keys like right now. <laughs> I'll find some chocolate on the way. I like Valentine's Day dinner chocolate. was was very elaborate. Is how I managed that one. <laughs> <laughs> so any any speculation with the field challenge? We assume it'll be something to do with fielding, maybe more. AP for fields and then badges for number of fields, or do you think they'll go with moo? Hold on a second. Let me just, he uh, has to put the tape over his mouth. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, apparently Vane knows some extra information that he can't talk about. So I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Agent Dewey J. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. What, what do you think it's going to entail? Um, I, I think it's going to be fielding. Because I love to field, but but how's the scoring? Do you think it's going to be number of fields, or do you think it's going to be uh, amount I think of move? The, the easy way to do it would be total, M, yeah, totally MU. Because number of fields that that just jumps so quickly, unless there's a certain you know we're taking a measurement at X time, or like they usually do within this two minute period or something like that, and then who has the highest MU or the highest fields? Because uh, it'll totally it'll MU would be easy to do. I mean the the last ones have been. Uh, group and individual right so there was like yeah. the overarching you've got to get this so much so they could say you've got to get a million fields or they could say you know it needs to be a billion mu well i know that i've seen some score sheets for first saturdays that are keeping track of some of those stats for 
you know, um, MU, some of the stuff that you would see in an anomaly. So maybe they're bringing that stuff kind of back. I don't know. And then besides the global kind of challenge part of it, there'll be an individual part to yeah. earn the tiered badges. So it's like how much, how many fields you can have to make if it matters how much MU, it could make a difference. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a badge if you cover, you get a badge if you cover one of the Asian Academy's hosts, you get a badge. If you do all three, you get if the... If you do all three, you, you get, yeah. You get so what were you saying? Ghost fields only. only ghost fields are in all fields. <laughs> only ghost fields. 3,000. field wins. 3,113 in all fields. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Talk about trying to make the game friendly for new players. That's what, right. What's this? In all, you can make a field that's not a field? How, how's that work? Apparently. Okay, so uh, the other aspect of it will be how to get the other faction out, right? So it seems like there'll be something double AP for destroying fields or destroying resonators yeah i think that they've kind of from past experience not too long past oh it's red um they figured out that you, you can't be one-sided you can't you know just do building and not give anything for destroying you know you, you've got to have that balance otherwise people figure it out pretty quick and they they build and then it's done and it stagnates so you still got to have that competition. I, I, I mean, I like the X-Facts and all that stuff, but you still got to have the competition. Still got to kill frogs every now and then. Or Smurfs. Well, they're tough. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully soon we'll get some more information. If not, you know, early next week, uh, we're show up in the, and closing the in on the be there. date. So, next Friday. Uh, also, four new avatars have been added to the scanner. If yep. you would like to uh, purchase those. And so, those will change your, your like, what you move around as. And these are kind of celebrating um, the, what, the archetypes. So, like, Archetype. the alchemist, the skeptic, spiritualist. alchemist, spiritualist, and dreamer. And the skeptic will uh, apparently change. When you get closer to portals, to a portal, hmm. and now now that I've seen that, I'm like looking at like I've been using the dreamer, and I'm like trying to see. I'm like, well, do something. I'm like, do do something. <laughs> so have you been using the skeptic? Tell, it gets more wiggly when it approaches portals. Like the dreamer just like wiggles a lot when it gets close to portals. Oh, so they all do something, not just the skeptic. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I need to I need to test more. Need to do more. Hmm. Throw a skeptic on there and see what happens. I figured the skeptic would disappear, you know, being a skeptic. I don't believe it. It's not going to happen. Right. No. Just like a smurf. Also added to the scanner was the vintage Akira Tsukasa medal. And this is one they've brought back. Now it's only available till tomorrow at the time of this recording, uh, February 7th. So I don't know uh, yeah. how you feel about those. Metals. I've heard what do you think? people the kind of chatter about that because that's a rare one. And, and now I can buy the rare one. You know, I, I, I wish they would do something like maybe, you know, put redacted wings on it or something that, that lets, you know, that differentiates this from the true original. Now, granted, if you look at somebody's uh, scanner and you can tell that that's the original, the the real one is is way down at the bottom, and this one's near the top. You should, you, I mean, you should be able to tell that a little bit, but still, it'd be nice to differentiate the two. Well, and do you know how you got the original one? Was it a, a bio card? So technically, someone could have the bio card, pull it out I, today, and then, then it would be at the top of their scanner too. So then, I I have no idea how how it was given out. Um, but the original yeah, I, Akira, I think that was a swag pack at one point. Uh, a couple of November Limas were trading for it. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I agree. I like. I just kind of assumed that there would be something different with it, and that just maybe the border would even be, you know, a little different. But 
I, it doesn't sound like that's the case. I don't know at all. I haven't yeah. I haven't seen the original one. I don't think. Do I have that yeah, one on my? It's one I don't think I've seen much. I mean, it's like the the original Leighton Wolf ones and that kind of stuff. They're they're so rare you don't see them. Oh, I want that one so bad. Like the Leighton Wolf one. The first OLW badge was so hard to get a hold of because it was very limited in the amount that even went out. And I think there was at one point like a rerun of them and you could get them for a limited time at certain events, but then that was pretty much it. Uh, a mm-hmm. couple of giveaways here and there. But if they put that one in the store, oh, you better believe I'm oh, buying God, that. I, that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that as rare as the Eve badge? So... Is this a different right one now. or is this it? Yeah. Oh. Just Fail. gonna lean in real close. I'm like, hold on, I can see, see that. Here, maybe this will help. Uh, that's the uh I think that's the twenty seventeen Akira that you got okay. there. Yeah. So I I mean I, I kind of agree if you got it legit, I guess the word would be whether you traded for the it or version were there it it does kind of uh make it, it evaluates it a little bit yeah it makes it less special yeah. but you know what and, and maybe it's a little bit of us because in years past or not years past but episodes past we talked about you know they really should start monetizing this stuff they should monetize this stuff and then and they are yeah but there's a way to way monetize to do it. and like you were saying with geocache like they monetize it with i think that's kind of a clever idea with the bugs so they sell mm-hmm. bugs with the like serial numbers on it that then, yeah, then tracking, you can tracking bugs and stuff like that yeah why don't why don't they sell like little they could be little well, i guess they can't do frogs and smurfs because they can't do smurfs but they could do you know <laughs> coins with with the uh, faction logos on them and then on the back have a a serial code and and then you can leave it at a portal i don't know and then if someone finds it they can put it in and it'll let pass along know that yeah somehow it, it gets passed along and see where they could then show where that coins traveled to across the world just based off the uh area oh of the agent who enters in the code or something a hmm. trackable shard oh i said that word shards oh yeah and then what if it was like in an anomaly oh, how many coins can you get to that anomaly so it's like, as people get them, and then they either have to get them to another agent, or and now they have that at the anomaly, and you can I don't know how they would tell there, but there's some way to do stuff like that, and and yeah. I think that would be fun and and um, a way to make some money. But there's I, tons of ways to make money. Yep, I, and just, I think this is the the this is really interesting for me to hear because I have kind of heard like both sides of the. The, the debate here with uh, returning old character medals and, and selling them again. Because, like, initially me, I was kind of like, there, there are certain medals that I would want to purchase if I could get a hold of them because they were rare enough. And I feel like enough time has passed that, like, it's still going to be very noticeable. Like, if I purchase one of those today, um, it's still going to be very noticeable being yeah. at the top of my profile. Um so but does that mean understand. now they can't change like shifting stuff? I, I guess you wouldn't really want them to do that on the profile, just on like missions, being able to move stuff around. But you know, it's like on Harry Potter, you can pick like the, your five favorites, you know, and put them up there. So it's like it starts kind of limiting that sort of stuff. If it's like, well, now you don't know if those are this or that. But I mean, like I, to me, it's all they had to do was change the border. That's it. Simple as that. Just yeah. Something a little different, and it's still the image. You can still like. I haven't bought any of these honestly because I didn't want to. I I didn't want to get it that way. But if if I knew that it was like, well, now you can see this, and you know that it was just something I bought to support them, I would have. And so it was. It was the difference to me whether I bought it or not. Uh, And I kind of wanted them just. They're just badges, you know. I like having badges, but we don't need no stinking badges. But anyway, that's just me. I know tons of people feel different. Let us know how you feel. Yeah, hopefully they'll keep doing. I know, um, you know, recently with like the the Misty Hannah, uh, the new OLW badge, and the Zeke Calvin, like the fact that those were available just you know straight in the store 
more of those more more of those like uh give us more of the oliver linton wolf with like the hoodie where he's just like don't look at me he's like no stop like <laughs> what more ridiculous badges like that or i don't know maybe maybe a couple of uh nemesis characters that we don't have in the current roster um that yeah, would be fine. Wingdings, give us, give us wingdings. I'm like telling you, if they just do player-created badges, and it could be run just like OPR, where they go into a system and they basically get approved. But once they get approved, they go out to sale, and then you can buy the badge. And so, like, you could make one for your local ingress group and be like, "Hey, it's there," and you have that on there. We could do one for the show. You know, all these yeah. different things could make badges. You, you would, you know, it. It could get removed if somehow, you know, a penis got sh- slipped in, right? Like, it'll get found, it'll get removed, but I think that would be a ton of money for them and badges. But then also, at what point are, like, badges, like, well, you just scroll for two years. Like, so they need to redo how, like, maybe another section for community badges. Yeah. Yeah. You can, maybe you just need to make a, you know, a companion program that does that, and it's just not even part of the scanner. You make your millions. Let's see. In the in the gamer me says player run. You're asking a lot, and but that's how the portal network's built. It's player yep. run. That's how. That's how this. Thing a lot works. of ingresses run. Player run. You know, vanguards, vanguards. <laughs> I always thought um, it's been interesting too that. Uh, I know during some interview or article somewhere, uh, John Hankey was quoted as like seeing the ingress scanner as a tool more, more than like a straight game. So like the original redacted scanner was, was very basic in what it offered, but it was kind of the tool to interact with the portals and gameplay early on was more emergent. Like you didn't really get a set of objectives other than just make Mm -hmm. fields. You figure so out how, to- how you choose to go about that and build communities. That's all emerging gameplay that, you know, the scanner gives you the ability to interact with. So more of that, like I really want to see more things in Ingress that kind of take that community aspect in the emerging gameplay and just run with it. Like provide us more tools in yeah. the scanner. Like a, like a you know, toolkit, almost like Minecraft, right? Like yeah. put the bones there and then ways for us to play in the sandbox. That is Ingress. And that's one of the things that's a little bit different about Ingress. A, a couple of the other programs or games and things like that, you know, you've got one thing, you play it, and that's it. You, you can't really compete in Ingress unless you're, you know, you're opening up the map and, and you're looking at other things. You've got those companion programs. you you, you got to be talking to other players. So you're running three or four different apps. And they're not apps in many cases that are specifically designed for Ingress. You know, I, if I know in my area, I got to have Telegram to talk to other agents if we're doing an op, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's yeah. that's different because when I first started, I'm like, oh, all, all I got to have is this one this one program. Uh, no, <laughs> the greatest lie that that's right. we all you know, just download this one program yeah, and gonna, you're good. Download Ingress. I don't need anything else. I'm not going to like anything else. Put gas in my cart three times a week. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to happen. It's a free game. You, you won't run it. <laughs> Right, new shoes and yeah, you have to buy those special gloves that you can use your phone when it's too below. Yeah, you will have an Amazon wish list of stuff I want for ingress. Like, why would you need that for <laughs> any it. game? Yeah, my wife was asking me the other day. I was like, I've got to get this piece of Velcro. Why? So I can strap the you know the thing that straps on your arm for your phone. I got to strap that to my leg. It's just like. What are you? Ta- what drugs are you on? I'm like, well, it's perfect because if I'm driving down the road, it's right there and I can see it, and it doesn't fall on my lap. She's like, oh, you know, silly triangles game works real good though. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I got that from a from a uh, agent who's a, a wheelchair agent. And I saw that. I'm like, oh, that is a really smart That's idea. Smart. Yeah, no, it's a really smart way to go about it. Yeah. So if somebody patents that and makes money off it, I get 2% right off the top. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. And then I think we get one just for being near you when it happens. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll trickle down. <laughs> so that means trickle you get 0%. We used to get 1% of your 2%. That, that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Academy. Equipment, equipment, like gear. 
you know that agents have like these these extra things that we accumulate just by being agents quote unquote so all the extra batteries the 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 clothing that you buy the extra gloves the whole nine yards with that it was really funny from the beginning when people started talking about that like i'm not gonna buy an external battery to play this game but right when ingress came out it's like if you didn't have one your phone just could not like ingress was not easy on phones at the beginning (laughs) it was not easy so we just started all trading like oh go to amazon buy like you know this this specific anchor and get this you're going to need better cables because the cables you have are crap and they're not going to actually charge your phone and i feel like the pokemon go community went through the same phase yeah of like this whole market of consumers learned that there was this like existence of all these different products that they never thought they were going to need. Now it's like, I need this. And, and like, that was a perfect time to go, okay, as Niantic, let's work with these companies and (laughs) with anchor and like make a line of batteries with cables and holders and rain this and that, and be like, here's our store that's on our game site too. And you can buy it right here with whatever. Was there some NIA hardware out at one time? Yeah. So, I there mean, they've had batteries. Egress batteries yeah. and a couple of other, like, miscellaneous um, things at some points. But, yeah, no, there's the Cheerio Ingress battery, which was the, the first, I think, like, sponsored branded battery that had a bunch of, like, extra lights, and it had the Ingress logo on it. And then Anchor offered the power cubes. They had the two different faction-colored anchors and actually the enlightened one had a green led in it which all of the other anchor batteries are blue by default so Ooh. and then there was um there there's another one oh anna moto is that the name of it no oh there no uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah amnibus have you heard of that yes so how do you actually buy something from the <laughs> can you you gotta know someone <laughs> in wants one uh, but they have a battery, or had a battery. It's now sold out. So wah wah wah. Um, but they have um, some anime gear. Ingress the anime gear there that you can get some patches and some buttons and ties. And then there's another company that does like jewelry, Ingress jewelry. But it's all in Japan, and it's like, it's like what country? And it's like United States is not in the list. Just, uh, just go on to a VPN, put yourself in Japan, make the purchase, and just, uh, you know, I, I just need to ship this to the U.S. Are you telling him how to spoof? <laughs> no, no, VPN is legal. We, we got Krug in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> he, and he, reminded us Niana gave away <laughs> tiny, he reminded us that Niana gave away tiny Motorola batteries uh, at the original 13 Magnus in San Francisco at the after party. Ooh. Oh, man. So yeah, missed out on that one. Although as part of, I did the live stream uh, during that. So there's an old recording of that live stream somewhere, and you'll see me with like a resistance flag behind me for that. <laughs> you could be that way again. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I gotta uh, keep trying. I gotta keep trying. Uh, it's not gonna work. Where are we going to talk about requiem? The um we were I, I, it was in here somewhere I, I, yeah i jumped over something that so requiem anomaly yeah do we want to wait and talk about the other I, well let's talk about the anomaly okay since i brought it up because yeah. i did uh it's in munich and it looks as though they have a page up for it um of course it's not <coughs> live and going with everything but it looks like there's an on-site activation which would be free so that takes that you know do you are you going to have to pay to play with it and off-site activation uh and it looks like you're getting double ap during the event and you get a nemesis requiem in-app medal if your participation is verified and if you're on-site You'll be counted for anom- anomaly scoring. Uh, you receive a report of your anomaly actions with your place on the leaderboard. And if you're not on site, you just basically don't get to be counted in the anomaly scoring, but you give a report of your anomaly actions 
and uh, requires remote participation during the anomaly to receive the medal. And there's an official after party, cross faction. So all that, all the, the special information for that will come, I'm assuming, in the next couple of weeks. Um, and there's some digital kits there. So it looks like Saturday they're going to have a group photo, the anomaly, and then the after party, and then Sunday, uh, like many times, they're going to follow it up with a mission day. So I'm going to throw out something controversial here, but an idea for monetization and to get people excited about anomalies who can't go. Okay. You buy an off-site activation kit, and it's paid. I'm okay with some of the things being paid. And with that, you get all the stuff you get for, like, the remote stuff, but you also get five random keys from the play box. So now you can recharge. You, you can Even do your if own you can't make it room. to a recharge room or anywhere else. And it's not like you have every key, so it may not even be used. Yeah. But if it is, you can yeah. sit there and, and help out. You know, for a guy with a big hole in his head, you think pretty good sometimes. I mean, that's, that's, that would make money, wouldn't it? I I think I would pay to do that. I mean, on the anomaly day, if I'm not going to, you know, be able to hop a plane to to Germany, you know, I, I can. I feel like I'm taking part of it. But the thing is, are you going to be so far away? Are you going to have any effect on the recharge? Yeah, it's all going to depend, right? Depending on how far. I mean, like this one, I don't even know. Like, I don't know how close you have to be, like, with the... Uh, I don't know how far the ocean is. And maybe they make a special key that you can double that range, that you actually can have an effect. Like, maybe there's a... Whatever the, like, minimum, like, recharge, like, maximum loss, if you're past that, you at least have the minimum, so you can at least <laughs> trickle something in. <laughs> you, you would never get the badge, then. So that's the problem. I would really love to see... Well, but if you could charge it, right? So, so like, rather than selling, like, a, a key to, to the anomaly, so you could do remote recharge because of all the complexities for that, would love to see one of these global finale anomalies have a true-to-life remote option that maybe it doesn't give the exact participation badge. Like, maybe it gives another supplementary badge. That way there are reasons for agents to want to attend the actual anomaly on the ground, and then there's something that, like, hey, you can still get a global participation for this and actually influence the anomaly in some way, um, either through, like, I don't know, like, something with capturing portals, creating fields, links, you name it. Um, Supply line, like, Jane. Sort of a metric that you could measure off of. But, like, that, it would probably require some serious automation because... I don't want to make those kind of suggestions to the poor people that are going to have to score that. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be, neat, it'd be neat if you could even, you know, like move. I'm thinking of a supply line. If you could do links that go into the box and then you could ship stuff in for your, for your faction. Or, or, I mean, what if they could even do something on, on the Intel? You know, so yeah, you no. could actually surf the intel and, Surfing. like, find some dead drops or something that would pop up if when you're clicking on a portal or something. I, like, I feel like there's some way to, like, they've got to balance. They don't want to do something that people are going to want to do instead of going to the anomaly. Mm -hmm. I, I think anyone from the U.S. who's going to the anomaly probably wouldn't forego that in lieu of one of these ideas yeah so i think it's got to be like low enough rewards to keep but still something some way to get you participating in the event maybe something like a coding challenge that drops and then you can send information to your faction on the ground and say hey there's you know a volatile portal here and they, that's the only way they know it something like that yeah yeah, and I was actually just looking for it, but uh, Andrew Andrew beat me to it. Uh, Goonie, I just forwarded you a little sticker that has the, the recharge radius for, I believe that's the level 16 radius from Munich. And, you know, you're, you're not hitting that at all in the U.S., by the way. No. Like, there's a site that does the same thing. You basically tell it, like, go here, show me the recharge radius. But uh, I'm sorry, uh, unless you're on, like, a cruise ship, 
or you want to go to Iceland or something, it's it's not happening. <laughs> well, but that's <laughs> like reason. that's like Dewey J was saying. They could make something to where it's like double the limit, or you d- can trickle it in if you have these special keys or something. Like, there's a way to do it, yeah, and make I'm it thinking, work. I'm and make Intel is something that you could send. I mean, you're sending information to your to your players. Well, I'm going to get this image up here for the people watching on the live stream. Well, so something true. along the lines of like the decoding almost, because decoding so was a global. You're telling story. me I've got to go to Greenland. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little far. Or I go to Northern Africa. Yeah, maybe I just go to Northern Africa. So this is going to be like a really weird anomaly. It's almost like it's an anomaly. It's an anomaly of an anomaly. It's an anomalous I mean, anomaly. It's like uh, m- much less recharging <laughs> 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 happening, and I don't know. Well, and you, you you hit it on the on the head. It's going to be a little bit different, even getting tickets, because the tickets are going to be through your scanner this time, isn't it? Yeah, the, were they not last time? The uh, last couple of events I did were in the scanner. I don't remember. Yeah, events, but I don't know if the last anomaly, anomaly was. Yes, What's, yeah, you, you would register an app and then um, yeah. you could make the payment or go with the, the free option and then uh, it was just the 13, go out, hack the things and then anomaly, hack all of them. Yeah, because that was the first one that, I mean, we, like we talked about on the show, it was weird because they were charging, like last minute they decided to or announce that they were charging for like the rechargers and, yeah, uh, but it was all like, weird in-app no one on ground kind of thing and it was all kind of uh, you know whatever but uh so they're getting that tech down but this will be interesting it'll be fun to see what happens i'm sad i won't be there and do we know anything about the rules and what scores and what doesn't score yet yeah they have the the rules linked from their the event page but i don't see uh, so apparently they just have the previous rules there for now. Yeah, so. I did. I did see the ones yeah, for no, no rules yet. No rules yet. If we had rules that early, oh boy, <laughs> yeah, there'd be planning upon planning upon planning. Yeah, once available, the rules will be linked there. Yeah, uh, and they have links to how to coordinate with your faction if you are planning to go. Uh, you probably already know those places, so you know Rocks or Will Be Blue. And uh, I think that's all about the anomaly that we know. Okay. I guess we know the image. Yeah, they got the new image. kind of looks like a, I don't know, a fire. For those who are in the live stream, the image looks Tulsa a little Kappa. like this. Tulsa Kappa. Tulsa Kappa. Delta Kappa. I've got a, <laughs> I've got an image I'll have to throw out. It's uh, looks like a seashell. Yeah. A <laughs> looks like a bad drain. Right. All right. I'm, I'm excited, excited for it. Though. I love like, red and blue. I saw that badge and I was like, oh man, it looks so cool. Because <laughs> I my favorite color is red, so uh, I'm like, there are very few badges that have that. They have a lot of red. In. No, Cassandra. That was it. Wasn't it Cassandra? Yeah, but like very few. Like I yeah, want more. Yeah, no, no, One is not enough. Uh, I actually made a basically a Cassandra Agent Academy shirt because red and black are like my faves. That's why I, w- I was worried about the red faction. I was like, oh man, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, Goonies jumping ship. No. Won't do it. I have too much green now, but... You know, I would definitely be able to to scout stuff against the red team because I would be able to fit in. Ooh. So we also had some, uh, I, I guess, sad news. We had uh, two vanguards resign this past week, MM207A and Pine Singer. Uh, they both basically attributed it to losing uh, the magic of Ingress. They weren't feeling the magic anymore, and a lot of that seemed to be be because of like the de- declining player base and um sad to see them go um, part of the vanguard so I, n- I know they were helping out and um i've only met P- 
Pine Singer, I believe, at one of the uh, Boston Anomaly, I think. Um, but, you know, community members helping out and doing stuff for a long time. So, uh, hope those two well wishes and that they find something that, that brings magic to their life. Maybe Ingress Prime 2.0. Who knows? Are there any plans to replace them, Vane? Do we know? Or is it not go on without? Or do we so, know? so I do know. I don't even know if I can like really comment directly on that. Well, wait, uh, wait, wait. Or yeah, I don't want you to get in trouble. So, <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. <laughs> we'll just make assumptions then. They're probably just going to let the vanguards one by one die out and then close the program. That's what I'm guessing. And since Vane can't say anything, uh, I would do this to be <laughs> No. <clears throat> I'm sure, hopefully we'll hear something. I know uh, Brian posted to both of them wishing them well and thanking them for uh, helping out. So hopefully they're still invested in, in that program. Hopefully the comments yes, no, and the suggestions I can, I can make. I can definitely say that Niantic is still invested in the, the Vanguard program. And that we're not going anywhere. Um, there are many of us that definitely want to continue doing anything that we can to you know influence things and give the community a voice um but i completely understand where everyone is coming from that feels frustrated both inside and outside of the program and it you know it's sad to say but i can understand where they're coming from and yeah. why they feel that they've reached that sort of impasse where they could no longer continue well yeah and I, I just got to say, I appreciate you being in there, Vane, and, and all the rest of the vanguards that are staying there and trying to kind of work through the hard times, so to speak. Like, <laughs> Thank I, you. I'm, I'm sure everybody appreciates that. And I know like, it definitely, I don't say thank you enough for, for that kind of, it's, it's, it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week. <laughs> being an advocate is a hard thing. Yeah, and no. being an advocate that yeah. can't really say everything, right? Like, like you've got to kind of. I'm sure you hear things sometimes where it's like, "Man, I wish I could just let people know, you know, that this was coming or that was coming," because then they'd be excited and happy and wouldn't be as, you know, this or that. I and mean, then it's just like I can't say a thing. I, I feel like it's a little bit of an art form, though. Like I'm, I'm slowly getting better as it as I'm exposed to, like you know when I hit the brick wall with certain things, like normally I'm a little bit more prepared and I can kind of figure out like when someone goes with a question that I'm anticipating, like, Oh, okay, here's, here's what I can say about this. But certain things, if it's just left field, it's like, Oh, uh, how do I talk around this? <laughs> Cause I don't want to do that. So, so how about them not communicate? <laughs> yeah. Uh, updates. Uh, prime updates to two three nine three. Yeah, I, and I think I just could I have just gotten the update because like when I opened my scanner to look for that badge, there's this like green like outline to um, portal view that I don't remember seeing before. It was very different. Well, it says it uh, updated visuals for inventory items to increase contrast and vibrance on low and mid tier devices. Uh, they added the avatars that we talked about. Um, added some featured bundles in the carousel. Um, so, and I do believe they started rolling this out like on the, around the thirty first. But then paused it due to first Saturday in other countries was coming along, and so they they paused the rollout um, yeah. till just uh, the fourth or the fifth. So I guess if I hadn't um, gotten the auto update in that, maybe I did just get it. So yeah. that'll be I'm interesting. Seeing, I'm seeing two big bug fixes, and one of them the speculative fix to address randomly occurring faction selection. So I assume that's the thing that we've kind of seen or hear when uh, people start. It's like, oh, guess what? You're going to be enlightened. It's like, well, what? 
or you're going to be in most cases I, I what I heard it was you're going to be uh, resistance um, but you know yeah. that's not a thing uh, and they talk about ghost resonators spooky yes. what are what what are is a ghost resonator They're, so they would just follow you no like, no so, so like when you're in combat, like fierce portal combat, and you're destroying and deploying resonators like the wind, trying to get all that sweet first Saturday bonus AP, and then the portal looks like it has just one really fat, thick resonator connected to it because they've just been ghosting and stacking up. I haven't seen that. Or like anomalies. The same thing happens at anomalies. Yeah. There's but just so much occurring that the, the lag. Like, I've seen the built. portal, like, follow me around. So this is the actual resin, the individual resonator itself. You're saying gets bigger. Uh, so it's almost like they, the the image of the resonator being on the scanner sticks, sort, sort of like a clear ghost field. Yeah, like, like ghost field. You know, if you take down a field that's that's been there for ever, it might take it a while for that field to drop in the map. Although it's yeah, it's gone. If but if it, you were yeah, around yeah. at the prime launch, uh, ghost resonators were like really really bad. Uh, first week or two. I just must be real lucky. I haven't seen it. And and maybe that's what I'm seeing when I think it's a portal. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, like, I see Ghost Link still. Like, throwing, like, somehow I threw over that Link. <laughs> oh, that's not a real Link. Yeah. It's a Ghost Link. I've, so. Well, I think I've seen Ghost Fields. I don't know if I've seen Ghost Links. But... I hear I have a long resonator. I'll, I'll, I'll like go post this one in the chat where I've just got a like. It's just a really long resonator. It shouldn't happen, but sometimes you know you get the you get the long ones in there. It's genetics. Just gonna go so, like, toss this. In the and I chat. Brian also Brian commented that uh, on the ghost resonators, the latest update rolling out two three nine should help reduce the number of ghost resonators from occurring, but the issue can still occur with a lot of contention, like a first Saturday event, and they'll continue to investigate further. And Red Solo Cup is, has reminded me that I need to play to actually see it. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks, That's thanks awesome. for the answer, Andrew. Oh, and that's awesome. He he redeemed some of his academy points, so it was highlighted. That's cool. So it showed up. I haven't seen that happen yet. So he's awesome. he's just a happening kind of guy. He, he's tried tried to do everything. So and we've been running an hour and ten here, and I know wow. we have a few other things. Do we want to run through those just real quick? Yeah, let's hit them real quick. Um, I, something from PA Chapeau or PAC. Um, he's passing along a message from NIA to any of those uh, uh, agents that are Tesserae discoverers um, and all agents that have participated since they first learned about the tessellation back in October. Uh, NIA wants to give a shout out. So to be featured, they say post photos of yourself at the target portals where the test array dropped on your social channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. And then uh, tag it, you know, ingress, tessellation, your faction. Um, and then NIA will either retweet or share uh, on its official ingress social channels. And they recognize, you know, it's not a whole, not a big thing, but they want to give you something. So every test array retrieve counts, every portal visited matters. So, I know I kept thinking I was going to, it's like, oh, there's going to be a tesserate drop on Monday. And then I didn't see it. There's going to be a tesserate drop on Tuesday. I haven't seen it. So, well, that could be part of the end of the, just the end of the, you know, we're in what, number six? Round six. And speaking of um, Twitter and giving out codes, like, I remember when they used to do the, like, the field, uh, uh, the glyph symbol of the month. And maybe that stopped uh, with a with Andrew leaving, but you would get like for submitting the stuff they would send out a bunch of passcodes. I mean that was like a really good passcode. It was like twenty redeems or something like that. Like is that you think they'll start that back? Do you know Vane if that's a even talked about? Maybe they just forgot about it. Maybe Andrew was doing it solo. So I think this I think this this commentary is safe because I. I 
pretty sure Brian has talked about this publicly at First Saturdays. Um, but I think they're trying to kind of bring a little bit more of that like old school ingress dead drops in like the middle of the night, random places vibe to, to things and kind of get people more interested in that. So I would almost expect like more pass codes or, or different dead drop approaches at, at some point. It's, it's unknown if and when, and I don't really think there's any like concrete details other than the fact that Brian has mentioned it's something that he, he would like to see more of. Okay. And, and, uh, Krug did uh, mention monthly glyph challenge was what it was. Yep. Uh, speaking of tessellations and stuff like that, round six scores, and I think that uh, this probably is the first time after round six, both Enlightened and Resistance are ahead of Nemesis. Uh, Resistance leads with 63, Enlightened 58, and Nemesis is just with 50. So, you know, when this first started, we were like, oh, my God, how are we going to catch up with Nemesis? Um, but after a couple of rounds, uh, they figured out how to place those things on the board. And uh, that really has helped out the score. So has Nemesis gained any points? Like, how do they gain points? They've gained, I think the last one I watched, they had a couple from placement. Um, and I think they might have got a couple because neither side placed one correctly. I'm yeah, not and, that's when they were accurate as both factions yeah so if we fail they win is what it kind of comes down to four points when we fail so right hmm so I just looked at my scanner to make sure I didn't have any <laughs> I was just gonna say I'm don't, still not sure if any of them are or not don't be recycling <laughs> crap <Judy. laughs> look you heard to think before you link uh, think before you recycle right are, are they titled something Hey, you know, that, that's the thing. It's hexagons. They, they, they but they're all hexagons, shape. aren't they? Kind of looks like our logo. I think they stole it, but you know, what What? What do I know? Like, that, that's what I don't get. Like, they're all hexagons. X, X'd off, I got a hexagon. Calvin XSM is a hexagon. A simple yeah, laser so is a hexagon. Them. Those are all tests, right? But, like, what? You should have for Saturday media. They were all global drops. Like some of those were global drops that you just named off. So oh. like they were just available uh, during a certain window of time, and the fastest people to to go and post that, that they hacked them on the forums got the discovery status. Oh, oops! So you gotta you gotta be on that. I don't, like I don't know. I I don't look at like the stuff that's coming down into my inventory. So I've got to like yeah. go look for the stuff. Like maybe if it. Glo- yep. glowed or <laughs> like shown brightly that you know on your scanner like when you hacked yeah like usually when I'm hacking it's hack 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 and it's like then I go back later like okay did I get anything good I, I don't really know you know so unmasked Avon is this one oh <laughs> yeah, I can confidently tell you the things that you have right now are old <laughs> okay good <laughs> So, okay, so if I see any more hexagons, so I'll delete Wait. these, or should I save yeah, these? Delete them. Go ahead, delete them. That's what the resistance says. I'm putting them in a Get capsule. I'll do yeah. that after the show, though. This isn't do, really do exciting. We, know, do we got any idea when the next one's going to drop? It's like Goonie's going to trim media. <laughs> I don't... Well, no, hold on. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can he say... Uh, well, while he's thinking, decoding challenge. Have you seen anything about that this week, Dude Jay? I'm sorry, what? Decoding challenge. Uh, it was a total mystery to me. I didn't see anything on it, so I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I have no help. Is it not going on anymore? I, I didn't see anything on decoding challenge. Okay. So I think they're they're kind of just gearing up for the next round. But I don't know, and that you know that's kind of the nice thing about ingress is it, it's it's nice to know when everything's happening. But you have those things. It's like, oh, what's this? When did this start? You get to do that little bit of discovery. So I my gut tells me we're going to see it. Is that an egg? <laughs> 
We're going to see some next week. Good stuff from the field test. Ah. So. Okay, so the next challenge, Alchemist, will be posted next week yep. on the 10th. So this week was the ninth challenge, the Explorer Challenge. So, and do I? so it's at the 10th, uh, I guess it starts the 10th whenever the first 10th of, first 10th worldwide happens. So it may not be, you know, well, February 10th for me. It might be still February 9th for me. It's you know, at I, uh, two, at 1400 yeah. hours. 1400 hours i had a i had a plan that's like okay i'm just going to keep keep an eye on the community chat and when i see one show up in the community chat i know they're out there and i can go get mine but that's probably gonna be too late so i'm just gonna have to keep hacking the middle of the night well i i think before we hand out our passcode we're gonna do a little little quiz between y'all oh so first off uh the first Archetype was Dreamer. I'm going with yes. It was Dreamer. How many people do you think have solved Dreamer to date? Vane, Agent Vane. How many do you think? How many agents? Oh, jeez. Uh, I have not been paying attention enough to this. No searching. Let's go with, uh, <laughs> let's go with 1331. Okay. And Agent Dewey J, how many do you I, think? I was honestly going to say 1275. Let's go with. 6,111. Wow. So if you multiply mine by his, we're close. <sighs> so take that and let's see. We're on Explorer. How many solvers do you think have solved Explorer now, which is the most recent? 84. <laughs> I love them. Mm -hmm. 700. It was closer, 916 solvers. Ooh. And so there's four more to come out, Alchemist, Trickster, Catalyst, and Patron, uh, the, the 10th, 17th, 24th, and then ending on the 2nd. And so now we can see who the top decoders are, and I'm doing this not including Dreamer. That way you're not in it. Just out of my own bitterness. I'm not on any of them. <laughs> The hive mind is uh, number one on that list. So, has he got one of those that he solved it in zero seconds? Uh, I don't know how to read these numbers they have here. Zero seven four seven three three. So is that seven days? Forty? Is that that the total? That may be the total. Yeah, total yeah. for the best eight is under eight days so i think that's pretty good and the next closest is 13 days so good job we'll um hit this every few weeks when we remember so uh, i think we need to have a, a little competition between all three of us here see who the first person is to post tesserae in this next round it'll be oh, easy to so when do they start dropping for the next round monday monday do we have time do we have time for what oh no i don't i don't know that's been a mystery to me i kind of think it's like Zero hundred hours somewhere in the world across the international like UTC. Line. To zero yeah, UTC. They start somewhere. They drop them all. But I don't know. It, it always seems like somebody's found one before I do. I okay. So yeah, let's do that because I I haven't participated in it at all, and so I think that's how I have to do it. Is because I don't, I didn't know when things happened or. What when I should be looking for something? You know what I mean. Like I just do. Well, you hack. You get something when <laughs> you hack. Like, oh, there it is. Every once in a while. So Monday, I'll start hacking and looking for hexagons. Yeah, may maybe maybe Sunday. Monday hexagons. Maybe hexagons Sunday. Monday, where the great ones run. And and then if I find one, I go to the community forum and there's a place to just post. Correct. A screenshot. Correct. As a matter of fact, there is a uh, Prime Tips podcast that takes you through that. Very good. 
And where can people find this Prime Tips podcast? Uh, on the internet. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> We've got to make a page for it. Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, you can find it at YouTube. You can search and, and find it there. Um, I got a bit.ly for it. I think it's uh, bit.ly slash Prime Tips. Okay. Video. So I think people should be able to yeah. we'll find that check. eventually. And you can also find us, hopefully, next week sometime. <laughs> and this week, you can find a code. I didn't forget. <laughs> Yay. J- JBJ Blaze is at the keyboard. All right. He's just ready. So it's A-A-E-W-B-F-A-A. And just a reminder, when you hear people leaving the game and locals, reach out to agents and make a farm go say hi and get out there and don't just get out there alone go mingle socialize talk to a pokemon go player show them ingress prime and they may go oh my god last time i looked at it it looked like a piece of crap and that looks beautiful i might give it a go i might go with that because i'm telling you as pokemon players get to level 40 they need stuff to do and they still want to be out there and doing stuff this this is a perfect time as I think players are probably getting there or have passed it to be introduced into another game that kind of fills a little bit of that space. I Who's think I say I, hi. I think I've seen a little bit of that because we had a couple of players that we were thinking were in that early um, playing Ingress just so they could put portals out, and then they disappeared, and now this they're back. I'm like, oh, I wonder why they're back. Dun, 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 dun. They've topped out the other game. Yeah. And JBJ Blaze said confirmed. It totally did not glitch. So you are a success. Nice. Yeah. And if you go out eating at like a, you know, a ramen restaurant, a lot of them are selling some Ito in tea in their cans and stuff. And, um, Point that out to your coworkers and friends that you're eating with there. Go, that's in the game I play. Y'all should see this. Download it now. I thanked my daughter. I found a package of it in our in our kitchen. And I said, oh, thanks for supporting Ingress. She's like, what? I said, there, that tea. She's like, you're crazy. And then I showed her on the schedule. like, well, if I hadn't known that, I don't know if I'd have bought it. And right. Like, and, and she's like, you're still crazy. <laughs> Well, uh, we're all crazy, and thank you all for being crazy and watching the show tonight and supporting the show with chats and and all the cheers and all those different cool things and subscriptions. Um, we appreciate it. So it helps keep the website rolling and running. We had to update it this month because we were going over our cap. So we definitely appreciate it. Everyone, have a great week. Get out there and move and look for hexagons, apparently. Blue fields. Big blue fields. Take those down. (laughs) Put up green ones. Blue. Blue.